Hello everyone, today I'd like to help you to start streaming from your Mac. We're going to be using freeware only uh, and I'll try to make it as easy to follow so you can follow it step by step and take your time. The first thing you'll need is a program to capture your screen. For this I use Cam Twitch, Cam Twist. Um, so let's start it up. Uh, you have a lot of effects here, but let's keep it simple. You start with desktop plus, double click it. Then you can choose which region you want to record. So I've chosen full screen, uh, but you could also confine it to an application window or capture a certain area. Uh, the second program you'll need is Flash Media Live Encoder. Uh, don't worry, I have the download links in the description. You can take it step by step. The first thing you need to add is your FMS address. Uh, this actually defines where the program sends the information. And if you want to send it to Twitch TV, this is the link. It will be in the description. The second thing you'll need is to add your stream key, which says, which is your identity. It says who is streaming to Twitch, so they know it's you. This stream key is uh, unique for yourself, and to get it, you need to go to Twitch uh, and go to Dashboard. Uh, this dashboard is only available for you, and here you press Stream Key. Uh, it should load. Okay, Show Key, and you copy this key uh, and paste it in here, and press enter. Uh, remember this key is unique so you shouldn't share it with uh, other people or they can stream in your name. Don't worry, I'll reset the key later. Uh, now let's go into the encoding settings because this will decide the quality of your stream. Uh, the device for video should be Cam Twist uh, over here and the format should be H264. But we have to make some configurations to this format. So let's press this button and change the level to 4 and the keyframe frequency to 2 seconds. Now frame rate 30 fps is fine and the input, si input size depends on your screen size. Uh, if you have a large screen 1080p uh, 1080 is fine. If you have a smaller one 720 is also okay. Uh, the bitrate defines the quality so the higher bitrate the higher quality of your stream, but your viewers need a higher bandwidth to actually be able to watch the stream without lag. Uh, I think 2000 bitrate is fine, and you can keep your output size the same as your input size. Uh, yes. Uh, the device for audio should be Soundflower 2 channel, but we will return to this later, because you don't have that device yet. Uh, now. For sound to be able to actually record your gameplay sounds and the sound from your microphone, you need two programs to link it into one channel. So the first program you need is Soundflower Bed. Uh, let's start it up. Uh, Soundflower, Soundflower Bed. And it comes up here. Uh, the second program you'll need uh, is link in, line in, sorry. And you'll need to make a duplicate of uh, the first line in so that you have two copies of it. Now let's start both up. Uh, they actually stack, so you have to divide them like this. Uh, okay, let us let me check my notes. Uh, the first one should be, uh, you have to, I have them activated, sorry. Uh, you need to select, so the first one is built-in microphone to Soundflower 2 channel. The second one should be Soundflower 64 to Soundflower 2. Now you can press pause through, but you'll probably hear yourself speaking. Maybe not yet. You have to go to System Preferences, Sound, and change the output to 64 channel and your input should be your external microphone. So 64 channel 
and these settings. Now you'll hear yourself speak. To remove this, we go to up here to the settings and turn Soundflower to channel off. Now your stream will hear you speak, you won't hear yourself. That's ideal. Remember to have pass through on both these. Now in here, it should now be possible to change the device to Soundflower 2 channel for you as well. When you're ready to start streaming, press start and the stream should be all set up. Remember, Twitch has a delay for 10-15 seconds, so it might take a few seconds before you see your stream going live. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you want, if you have any questions, Please ask them in the comments, I'll be glad to help you. Thank you for watching.